How can one effectively harness dedication within a 30-day time frame to acquire a substantial Scrum proficiency, and thereby empowering them to pursue official Scrum certifications, fortify their CV to distinguish themselves, initiate applications for available position, and ultimately commence their path as a self-assured and esteemed team member? Well, that's exactly what we will talk about in this video. My name is Dan Maikic, and I'm the author of the Agile Project Management and Scrum Blueprint. Throughout this session, we will delve into practical tips to accelerate your journey towards mastering Scrum techniques and practices within a consented time frame. Join me as we will unlock the secrets to rapid skill acquisition and professional advancement in dynamic realm of Agile project management. So this program has been available for some time now, undergoing 15 updates during this period with more updates in the pipeline. Many individuals have enrolled and provided valuable feedback, which I've used to improve the course continuously. However, I frequently receive inquiries from those of the brink of the enrollment seeking clarifications about how Agile project management works and how it can help them. So to address these queries comprehensively, I've compiled them into this video where I'm aimed to provide detailed answers. If you are contemplating joining the Agile project management and Scrum Blueprint, consider this video as a treasure trove of information that could guide you toward making an informed decision. Okay, you might have heard expressions like self-improvement, lifelong learning, and all that kind of thing. And it's like sort of movement. It's become a little bit of trend in the last 10 years in business circles to talk about lifelong learning and how the learning never ends. And this has gone hand in hand with things like change management and stuff like that where they keep repeating these mantras, and the mantras are continuous improvement and lifelong learning. So this is something that relates directly to the theme of this video, which is Agile and Scrum career. And the part of career is advancing your career. It's not just simply looking for another job. It's trying to get ahead and get a good job. Some people even change careers, and in a lot of cases, taking on education about Agile and Scrum is a huge part of this. If you are looking for skills that will lead you to become a Scrum Master or a Product Owner, or you are looking to be an entrepreneur and start a business, or you are looking to enhance your skills in your existing job, getting an education on Agile and Scrum, learning the theory and learning how it all works is a very popular thing to do and it's very useful. Okay. And I'm a big advocate of technology myself. I have Masters of Computer Science and Information Technology, and I'm a big believer in it. But you have to know that just because you have a Masters degree doesn't mean you know everything, especially about Agile and Scrum. However, getting formal education on technology is a good thing, and it does add to your knowledge, and it does give you a lot of abilities and skills and way of thinking about things that people who don't have this type of training don't have. So I've created a course where you can get that learning for very cheap. Okay, Our program offers three levels. Begin with our free course for, to explore Scrum as a potential career path and to experience my teaching style. It's an honest introduction to help you dedicate if Scrum aligns with your professional aspirations. And then progress to the Meteor Scrum course, where you will master Scrum fundamentals, and follow this advance to the senior level, elevating your Scrum expertise to make informed decisions about integrating Scrum into your professional life. For most up-to-date pricing plans and options, kindly visit www.whatiscrum.org and select the options that aligns best with your requirements. And you can learn the material all at your own pace. You can learn it on your schedule and you don't even have to learn it all of it. So if you are only interested in one particular area of Agile and Scrum, let's say Scrum events, or definition of done, or you want to learn where to start if you are going to build a new product from scratch, for example, 
or you want to learn just a subset of Scrum well, and this is the vehicle to do it. So let's get right into this. I've got my list questions here. So if you are deciding whether the, this Agile and Scrum Masterclass is right for you, these are some of the questions that were sent in. And I've compiled, I've sort of combined it a few here. So the first question was, who is it for? Who should take this course and who would get something out of it? And the answer to that is that there are basically four types of people that are interested in taking this masterclass. Okay, now the first type of person is a professional of some kind. If you have a job, you have a profession. So either you are, for example, software designer and you are looking to advance your career, maybe climb to a ladder to become a scrum master or product owner, you must enhance your skills and that is for you, okay? The other reason you might want to take this masterclass if you are a professional and if you are looking to change careers, for example, you are a project manager, okay? And this is quite common these days. So people that might spend 10 to 20 years, you know, in a certain career of development or system admin or something like that, and they just decide one day, look, I want to do something different. That could be because of economic reasons or personal reasons, they want to change career. Then they say, I have heard about this scrum thing. I want to go in that direction. If that's you, adding these Agile and Scrum skills will help, will be useful, and it, it will help you. The second type of person that can get value from this course is anyone who hopes to have their own business. Either they are an entrepreneur right now, or they have ambitions to run their own company in the future, okay? If that's what you want to do, you will want to learn the art of doing twice the work in half the time, to stay competitive in the market. That is why this masterclass can be a real ticket to success if you pull this off. Learning how it's done is pretty important, and the analogy I always use is somebody wants to be an actor. They want to go to Hollywood to be a movie star. Well, going to drama school would be a good thing. To learn your profession, learn your skills. So entrepreneurs and business owners can benefit from this course. This course is for you. And the third type of person that would contemplate taking this course is a student. Now, let's say that you are an IT student and you want to get a head start. You want to get a preview of the type of work that's been waiting for you once you graduate. Or you want to get a preview of the masters in Agile. So you decide if this is right for you before you even start your master. Okay, so that would be the third type of person that can benefit from this masterclass. And then finally, this masterclass is intended also for the people that just have an interest in Agile and Scrum. You just want to learn Agile and Scrum. It's like a sort of education that's fun. Because a lot of people like learning and they don't just watch funny cat videos all day long. They watch videos that teach them something and they find this enjoyable and rewarding. And that's the type of person that could also conceivably take this course because the price is so low when you compare it with standard price for educational programs that you could take this master class just for your interest. So that's what I would say, who is it for? It's for professionals, scrum masters, product owners and developers that want to enhance their career or change careers. It's for entrepreneurs and business owners who want to learn how to do twice as much in half time and it's for students that would like to prepare for a new job or full-blown series masters that they might have paid five or six figures for and it's for general public who might just be interested in agile and scrum and want to stick their toe in the water and maybe learn a little bit of certain area of agile not necessarily the entire thing but one particular area and this is okay for you so I hopefully that makes sense. So the next question I got was, is this program accredited? The answer is resounding no, it's no accredited. And the simple reason 
never will be accredited because it is designed with no evaluations and that's intentional because I want to make this material accessible to people. The type of people that are going to be taking this are people that want to learn and don't like burdening people with too many assignments and tests. But we have those. We, you will have homework to do, but not as much as you would have on accredited programs. This program is similar to a lot of distance educational programs that you would pay thousands and thousands of dollars for only one difference is that in addition to learning from textbooks, they would have to do assignments every week in each class. I don't require that you do it entirely or you could do it at your own pace and to the depth that you are interested in. So if you only want to skim the materials and get sort of gist of general idea, that's fine. If however you want to go in depth, you can do it also because we will follow the industry standards. So the Agile and Scrum Masterclass is not accredited and it will never be because there are no evaluation. I have no way of verifying what you have learned and quite frankly I feel that's unnecessary. And you know, what matters is what you have learned and what you gain from it. So the other question that's part of this is can you put the term Scrum Master or Product Owner on your resume? Technically you can and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. If you have gone through the material and you feel that you have learned all of it or you know waste majority of it, I don't think that's the problem but you would want to be ethical. You would disclose and say that you are not certified. But we will talk about Scrum certification inside this program and I will show you the easiest way to be self-prepared for official certification. Okay? Now the next question, if there are no evaluation, how do you verify the learning? Well, the answer is I don't. It doesn't matter what I think, it's about how much you will learn. This is for you. And I will give you clear guidance on how deep I think students should go. In the masterclass, I give you lots of videos and I say pretty explicitly, this is how I believe how deep you should go, in my opinion, but it's entirely up to you. So I don't verify learning and I see that's advantage of this masterclass. Okay, that's how I design it. Okay, next question. How deep you will go in your curriculum? The thing about Agile and Scrum is that there are many, many courses out there and many, many programs out there that gives you a subset of that learning. They will maybe only take one subject like Scrum Events or Risk Management or Scrum Certification and they will teach you that subject and they will break it in, let's say, three-day course or eight lesson course and they will skip out a bunch of stuff and give you the sort of Cliff's Notes. And there are many examples of that. But I'm giving you full enchilada. I'm giving you the entire curriculum that you would receive in an accredited full-time master program at university. So that's how deep you could go or you could take a subset of it. And that's how that works. That's how this is only one masterclass, but you are getting the material for a two-year full-time university program. And hopefully that makes sense. And you can see that if you go to the sales page of the masterclass, there is a link in the description box of this video. It explains this. You could see as a preview here uh, all different lessons. And here is how many videos there are and all this kind of stuff. Okay, now the next question is, is it quality any good? Yes. Like I said, you are learning this right from the horse's mouth. You're getting it from the official textbooks. They are be studying in universities. So. Yes, it's high quality. Now, of course, you could choose not to go in depth, in which case you wouldn't learn as much. But hey, if that fits with your goals, that's fine with me. So you can go as deep as you want, but yes, the quality is good. The material itself is peer reviewed and industry approved, and it's been adapted by many technology companies and many centers of learning all over the world. The next question is, are all materials included in the masterclass? 
Yes, everything is included. You don't have to pay anything more than this masterclass. He includes videos, templates, how-to guides, and much more. Next question. What will I learn specifically in Agile and Scrum Masterclass? Well, I've divided in Agile and Scrum Masterclass into 20 modules. These modules are Introduction to Agile Project Management, What are the Product and Product Management, The Three Pillars of Empiricism, Scrum Framework, Scrum Time Boxing, Scrum Events, The Team Epics, User Stories and Tasks, Scrum Artifacts, Burn Down Charts, Definition of Ready, Definition of Done and Acceptance Criteria, Evidence-Based Management, Scrum Certification, How to Get the Scrum Master Job Without Experience, your first job as a product owner, where to start, writing effective user requirements, risk management and leadership, scrum events in practice, plan and execute the perfect sprints, the transition from traditional to agile, testing in agile and scrum, the scrum in real life. And that's 20 separate areas, okay? So you're going to be learning about each of those in depth. Another question, does access to the masterclass expire? No, it doesn't. I've intentionally turned off any kind of expiration. So once you enroll in the masterclass, you'll have the access to all videos and all downloads, the PDFs, the Excel file, and you have access to all of it forever. Okay, it doesn't expire. And if you order today, you will get even lifetime updates for free. So this is priceless. Okay, now next question. How many hours of videos are provided in the masterclass? Currently, today, it's well over 24 hours of videos plus resource section. But the new updates are coming every single month. Next question. What qualifies you to teach these topics? That's a good question. <clears throat> I guess the answer to this, I am Chief Information Officer. And I have a master's degree in computer science and information technology. I'm also a certified trainer of trainers and certified scrum master and product owner. I have more than 60 international certificates in different areas of information technology. And my area of interest and specialty is also entrepreneurship. I have mentored many young people who started small businesses. So I have issues with burnout and anxiety and I needed to learn how to maintain my well-being to be the best version of myself for my clients because I couldn't handle more people and that's where this masterclass comes into play. It doesn't all hinge upon what you think of my authority. You're learning from industry standards. And one more thing I want you to know. There are a lot of good scrum masters and product owners out there. Some of them are a lot better than me. But I wake up every single day to be a better version of what I do today than I did yesterday. And I can tell you the advice I give you today is even better than it was yesterday. And the advice I'm going to give you tomorrow is even better because for me, it's continuous education. And that's why I love working with open-minded, wonderful students who are my partners, because what we end up doing is growing together. Hopefully that should be enough about my qualification. And finally, how useful is to know Agile and Scrum today? Well, jobs related to Agile and Scrum are well paid and in demand. For some people, it's incredibly useful. It is the ticket to a very flashy career with a lot of high-paid jobs. For other people, it doesn't add too much to their job prospects. Depending on what industry you are in, even though you can find Agile and Scrum in almost every industry today, and of course, what role you are going for. For example, if the business is slowing down and you have to try and come up with a way to beef it back up again, and this is something you have maybe never done before. This masterclass will give you an insight into how to do that. That's the primary value. And of course, the moment you are confronted with having to solve a problem that you haven't seen someone do before, 
that's when you can use this masterclass because he tells you what type of things you have to do in pretty much every situation. That's what this value is. It's something that you don't have to learn through experience because you don't have to experience every possible situation in every industry at every size of the company, okay? Instead, what the masterclass will give you, it will give you the theory, but the purpose of the theory is so that you can walk into situation and you not have to trial and error to find something that works. You will know the type of thing that should work in that situation. And if that's what you try to first most out of the time, that will work. So that's the value of having the Agile and Scrum Masterclass. But you don't have to listen to me for that. You can verify that by talking to almost any major educational institution and talking to people from tech companies and you will see what they will tell you will be similar to what I've just said. And that's value of it. Just like acting. I like acting analogy. If you have never been to drama school, you have never been taught how to act. And maybe you can do certain things and do them well. You are maybe like a one trick pony or you have a couple of things you can do which is great. And maybe and you can make your career out of that. But perhaps there is a very prestigious role in movie that you want to apply for and that requires a certain type of acting that you are never done before. Maybe it requires certain skills, like you have to speak to different language or you have to act in a certain way. For example, you have to play Shakespearean and you had no formal training. That's where it comes back to bite you. The lack of formal training. As opposed to classically trained actor who would know that it's just part of the standard skills they, they learn in drama school. So hopefully that makes sense and that's the end of my list of questions. If you are thinking of taking the Agile and Scrum Masterclass, hopefully this will help you decide or you didn't know quite what to expect or what is it all about. If you have any additional questions, please let me know in the comments and I will be happy to answer. Now follow the link to Agile and Scrum Masterclass, there's a link in the description box that will give you the abstract of the Masterclass and there's where you can sign up. If you are at a certain point in your career where you feel that you have hit the dead end, you are not progressing, this is one way to sort of add fuel to the fire. And it's useful for not just impressing recruiters to give you a more prestigious higher level job, but also it allows you to essentially do your job better and faster and help you make the right decisions in your job and even in your real life. Prioritizing things techniques of making things better and more efficient and quicker. That's what it gives you and it allows you to sidestep mistakes rather than having to learn everything the hard way. And so you don't have to just impress a recruiter with Agile and Scrum skills. You can also use this material to excel in your existing position. Okay, that is all. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye. Oh, no, 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 no.